TV. Um, but when, when you see somebody like Dr. Kazar, who is constantly evolving, and he's practicing this stuff, you know, with a passion, like some people would say, we're crazy. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, you know, you have to get a little crazy to survive. Remember that song by Seal? You know, we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. The reality is, you've got to get this passionate that he is about it. And every time I see him talk, and he brings up, you know, all these other things, like he goes from the baking soda, I've done that one, to the, the shower thing that I haven't done. You know, you've got so, there's so many factors that we've been poisoned by on this planet Earth. And it's because there's just, uh, yeah, let's get the microphone going this way. It's just because there's been such a corruption with the money. It's like we as a human race put money first and God or truth second. And so my journey actually, when I, you know, watch Dr. Kazar, I see him as an older brother in this journey because, you know, he, he is uh, older than myself, but he's also becoming immortal in, in, in front of my eyes. And uh, another brother of mine, David Wolf, everyone knows about, was also somebody who was a great resource into this raw food, superfood lifestyle. And what I'm going to share with you today is how I sort of felt my evolution take place. Just so that anyone who wants to relate, you know, or relate that to themselves, can see, oh, well, if he was there and he got there, then I can do it. That's really what I want to share. And uh, what I do with my clients when they come into town with me is I literally just embrace it. Like, I want to embrace you and give you a hug, brother. And just <laughs> say thank you for all your work for humanity. I appreciate you. And I always, you know, really do appreciate your passion for this and what you do to share. I see you every day on Facebook. This okay. guy, he says, you know what? I, 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 I had no choice. I have to go ahead and film myself. I have to talk about something that was on the top of my head. That's it. I sit back and I listen to it. I learn things because divine I can't see itself, so I just look at another fractal of myself. Yeah. And we do the same thing, we learn from each other. Yeah. I only try to share what I feel that is real experiential wisdom, yeah. knowledge that I've, I've got. Because you can only do it by really experimentation and research. Everybody's a researcher here, I don't care if you go to Denny's, mm -hmm. looking at the menu, and you're researching what you want to wear, what to eat, and so forth. And so all we're doing is actually sharing with other people what we found out that actually works on a scale that collectively most people can grab because if it's too expensive, I go by the three E's. If it's not easy, can't do it. If it's not efficient, don't waste your time because we're already too busy. And if it's not economical, then you can't do it because sometimes everybody doesn't have the money that some of these richer people have. And so the idea is sustainability means easy, economical, and efficient to become sustainable. And this is all these different foods because you know, once you start eating these foods, you don't have to eat that much. No, actually you start to literally change from a, I'd say, a biological, spiritual, mental, alchemy point of view. You know, and I've experimented with many of these different things I've seen here, especially the shiuji. I was really into that for a long time. And what starts happening is your nervous system completely upgrades. Once you get a higher level of a nervous system, like, I mean, for me, I always just make it from funk with you. I dance, because I used to be a dancing person. And, and the, sh the shamanic energy that comes from those, you know, dancers, the freedom to express is, is uh, greatly enhanced by having a sensitive nervous system. Right. So it's like, as I watch Dr. Kazar, he's extremely cerebral, you know, as his brother David Wolf. They're cerebral individuals, and I'm always studying them like, wow, the mathematics that they get into. It's like, my father's like, he's a physics master. And so when I talk with him, he loses me in the math. But what I did, and as I watched Kazar's work, it all matches up to visions that I got through pure prayer. I didn't have that particular gift to be as crazy about math that Dr. Kazar has, my father has, or David Wolf. I had a gift that was just instinctive. It was like I prayed, and one day I picked up and took Chef Angel the Egyptian pyramids, laid in the tomb, and so I'm in the pyramid, I thought, what am I doing here? But I'm, I'm literally in a pyramid in Egypt, singing in the tomb. I thought, I mean, I could completely jinx myself. Or the vibrational frequency that uh, Dr. Bazaar is talking about literally affected me. And then all of these things sort of changed me so that instinctively I lined up to a lot of the wisdom that you mathematically found out. It's like the math and the instincts, they merge together. 
You know, let me throw one thing out. See, once people find out that your, your nervous system is your reality, that's it. So your eyes, your ears, your smell, your touch and feeling is an extension of your nervous system. And if you wanted to control 7 billion people, okay, you control the nervous system. And this is what's growing right now. The nervous system is growing because, remember, like we talked about, the sun has more energy, and all we have to do is grow our nervous system so it can accept more of this. And that's, again, why you did the Shiva G. It regrows your neural nets that have been damaged by prior suboptimal movements that we didn't know about. Because remember, there's no manual here on how to run this machine. So the nervous system, I'm going to let you speak now, you're all in your No, I'm enjoying it. Keep, keep going. I love what you're saying. The, the nervous system, remember, is, a, is an extension. Your brain, remember, the nervous system is everything. Let me see your arms. Now, when I take his arm and I touch this nerve in the back here, okay, he's an electrical, as you can feel, it's going into these two fingers. He's an electrical photochemical being. So, the, the number one conscious movement that anybody could make would be to take your nervous system and make it grow. And that's when you do the exercise. You stretch yourself to go and your nervous system follows. So if you just eat superfoods, oh, you just lay out in the sun, or you just read a bunch of books. Exercise, and you found this out and I have, because you and I do a lot of exercise. And that's probably one of the things that a lot of different creatures inside the body don't like. So consistently try to exercise, if you can, twice a day. In the morning, even for a little bit, in the evening, and you modify yourself and step up your nervous system to want to grow. I carry a meteorite in my pocket all the time. Meteorite is very special. Okay? It comes in from the planet 60,000 miles an hour. It lights up. It gets the signature of the planet. Whatever the planet becomes, the stone becomes. If I took a magnet, this thing snaps to it. And this is called, other than that, it's called lodestone. L-O-D-E stone. We sell these too. I put these, one of these in my pocket. It's a DC current battery. And I usually would wear a amethyst crystal over my heart chakra. And this amplifies you. Because that's all we're trying to do is make ourselves more crystalline. And this is, a, the, the amethyst is only made out of oxygen and silicon. There's only two elements. So in order to make hydrogen, you take platinum and you take a small amount of energy and you make hydrogen. Our bodies are batteries. So what I do is I take in a lot of electrolyte water and that's why I don't eat that much and I feel really healthy by drinking liquids because my body processes them and it loves it. So there's nothing. Do you feel that you're losing anything that you don't need right now? I found I, I barely eat some days and uh, like but you're satisfied. I'm completely satisfied. I'm satisfied. Actually, you know, that's, it, when you start learning, it, it, it seems bizarre, but when you start learning to combine some organic fresh fruit or um, greens with some good water and a few of these high frequency ingredients in the morning, you'll find that you'll pretty much skip your lunch. Yeah, you go through two o'clock without yeah, it. You don't even think about it. And then come the afternoon, if you feel, if you, you I, I'm actually at the point where I love the cacao, wheatgrass, spirulina combination with uh, a few sweet fruits in there so much that um, I'm like looking forward to my meal and it's, it's just a liquid, that's all it is, but I'm so looking forward to it. I put a little peppermint oil in it to make it like minty. So all I can say is that life gets better as you go on this journey and stronger and as I, you know, I've turned 36 years young, I've begun to feel a certain sort of a uh, hue or somewhat cellular immortality coming about myself. And it's not to say that egotistically. I see it in him, I see it in Chef Angelic, and I see it in almost every client that I take down this journey. I just like hold their hand, pick them up from the airport and say, okay, you're with me now. And I'm gonna like be mommy. And I'm mommy all day long. Like I'm, I'm training them, but at the same time, anytime they're hungry, they just get this little superfood liquid that goes in their system. And it starts to literally transform them. And I've seen miracles where I'm going, jeez, this person is like, I've seen people be out of here and they go, 
in, in no time. And, and it's shocking how fast that this can happen. And it's because I think when you're talking about this vibrational frequency that we're heading into as a species, as a planet, means that the wisdom is like highly activated right now. We can activate this wisdom like so quick, more than ever before. But you kind of have to take a, like you said, you have to take the red pill and jump down the rabbit hole. You know, once you jump down the rabbit hole, as a, there's a guy on, on my YouTube, his name is, I call him Jedi Ogre, uh, Tom Obradovich, he jumped down the rabbit hole. And here he was, a normal guy who was uh, working for the prison in uh, Michigan. He came over and just literally went from, well, he, he started out with me a year and a half ago, but he went from 280 of, cre of creatures, as you would call them, down to 180 and ripped and able to run. And it's just like, it's mind-blowing to see how people can transform so quickly. And uh, one guy came uh, to train with me on a Sunday afternoon. He left on a Thursday at 7 p.m. He'd lost 19.5 pounds and was being energized by these superfoods. So it's like transformational. And the reason why I came here is not just to align closer with Dr. Kazar and these products because I see his integrity on these products. You know, I see the level of passion, the level of research, the math going into it, the passion for the human race that exists in the man. And that's why it's like, okay, I gotta align with this brother because I'm doing work on instincts. You know, I'm an instinctive person. If, I, if something feels odd, I'm like, mm. but it didn't feel right. Or if I, you know, I'll, I'll fit the things and that's the vibration. When the vibration's off, I'll leave it alone. If the vibration feels amazing and life-giving, which is what all these high vibrational foods can give you is life force energy. Then I start getting what some people who say, oh, he's OCD. Well, I'm not OCD at all. Neither is Dr. Gazar. Passionate. I'm passionate about life. I'm so grateful. What's OCD? Huh? What's OCD? What's that? <laughs> Obsessive and people. Okay. You know? <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it's the passion that you got to get for your life and then for your friends and for your family. And once you start changing yourselves and, and, and people are like, wow, what happened to you? You changed, you're going. You can then pass it on. And, and it's exciting for me when I like hear about some client like Tom Obradovich, who's now passing it on to his sister. And she, she's like, well, she's ordering the milky berries now because it helps her irritable bowel system. And it's like, really? So it's like this network that we're growing, which is going to be a, um, a massive sweep of Mother Earth, where people now become intelligent and healthy. And as we do that, we can actually raise the whole vibrational frequency of humanity. I mean, even if we just get, what, 300 million out of the 6.5 billion to just wake up a little, it will change 